Hey, redheads and everyone else listening. I'm Stephanie. I'm Adrian. Today's episode's so cool. It's all about laser hair removal and if redheads can get it or they can't. And we're going to talk to expert in the field of laser, Dr. Jay Culkin. He is nationally recognized in cosmetic laser and he has over 30 years of experience. Yeah, we're really excited because I think it's a topic that we get asked a lot from our redhead audience, especially during the summertime because people, redheads, want to know, can I get laser? And Adrian and myself have never had laser. We've I think, But it's it. something I would get done. I would totally get it done. It's just that every time I've ever called and talked about it or They've asked said, about it, they say, oh, redheads can't get it. Sorry. Right. Because usually our hair is very blonde and very light and the laser can't pick up on the follicle, which is why you can't get laser. But Stephanie and I, you know, because we're in the beauty industry and we're always like seeing new products come out. New and technology. My gosh. Like there are so many products and things on the market that I find it hard to believe that sometimes they don't have a laser yet to target red or they, blondes. I'm, yeah, that's why I'm interested to talk to Dr. Culkin because there has to be some form of a technology now yeah. that can really get into that pigment of a hair if it is lighter. So if your hair is blonde, white, gray, we'll really talk to him and get his advice on what he recommends. Of course, I'm assuming, you, you know, pick a place that's near you, that's reputable, that you trust, and always go in for a consultation, which I'm sure he will recommend too because they're going to have to find out and figure out where you want to get the laser, what the hair color looks like, and go from there. So, Steph, I have to ask too, like, do you feel like you would have got it? Where would you have got it laser if you've already had the opportunity? I would do my underarms and my bikini area because I get a wax. Okay. Yeah, I to do your face. I know you're like always like Well, I think freaking out. So about that's the question that. I want to ask him because is that electrolysis or do you get it also on your face? I think you can get it on your face. I think you can. I would get it on my face. I have a lot of facial hair. But the thing that's interesting, and I'm sure if you're listening, maybe you're like me, but my armpit area is dark. Like it's it's like a yeah. dark brown. Yeah, my, me and too. And then my bikini area <laughs> yeah. is red. Yeah. And then my facial hair is blonde. Is blonde. But it's but it's like you always say it's like peach fuzz. You so I'm like interested it's... though if the hair color matters with what type of laser and whether you can get it or not. Like yeah. my arms, I love the hair on my arms. I know growing up some people would, would shave, shave them. Arms. Yeah. But mine Blonde. Mine's yeah. blonde. Yeah, and I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of arm hair. No, so. and I wouldn't do my legs. I mean, I hate shaving, but I'm fine shaving twice a week. Yeah, sometimes I go more. I go over a week if it's in the winter time. I feel like yes, I would get it. I would love to get it on my face because I have like some whiskers coming in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's just I take after mom. You don't have any facial hair. I don't have any facial hair and I don't really feel like I'm super hairy except I feel like I have a lot of like hair on my head that gives me Don't like, you headaches. hate shaving your armpits though? Hate it. I hate it. And it's like... It takes like all what, 20 seconds? <laughs> and I think maybe we should do a disclaimer that this episode may be like... TMA for some too much information. TMI. Or TMI. TMI for too TMA much. Is TMA is too much. Attitude. <laughs> <laughs> too much information. TMI for a lot of people. But it's, you know, it's like what our mom always said. You're a girl. Like we're girls. We're all girls here. Yeah. So even if you aren't a girl and you're listening or you want to talk about hair, it's just, it's something that everyone has. And everyone I, has hair in all the areas that we're talking about. And I think too, I hate even to talk about this, but... I don't like talking about the the bikini area and the whole thing with do the carpets match the drapes. We've always disliked that. I've never even recognized it. If- I don't like it at all. But when it comes to laser, I think that's something because I get a Brazilian and it would be really nice. I know that we have a few friends, but it yeah. would be really nice who have done this. But to be able to get laser down there so then you never have to worry about it anymore especially if you're if you have dark hair i mean it must you have dark hair and you go to the beach and maybe you're wearing a bikini and you forget to shave i mean if you're listening and you've been there that's 
I mean, you, you have these little hairs and then you have to lay on the beach or in front of everyone. I think laser is a great option for a lot of people. I just think we hear it nonstop. I think we just received a question the other day on Facebook about what are my options? I want to get laser. What do you recommend? And that's again why we're going to have Dr. Jay Culkin on and we're really excited. He's a member of the American Society for Laser and Medicine and Surgery and he's the founder and medical director of WIFH in Atlanta and um, he started his initial laser training in the late 1980s that then led to his expertise in cosmetic lasers and he's one of the leading experts in the field and he's led laser workshops to teach his techniques across the United States and Canada and frequently serves as an expert on this topic. So I think um, finding someone, you know, like him who's so reputable, he's, you know, going to be the go-to guy. So we're really excited to talk to him. Yeah, let's call him. The H2 Bar Box is now offering a deluxe version of the Beauty Box, sent out four times a year in addition to the monthly box. You now have two options for enjoying the Beauty Subscription Box for Redheads. The monthly box is worth $80 plus, and the deluxe quarterly box is worth $250 plus. The deluxe box will be available for sale on August 1st, and the first quarterly shipment rolls out on September 15th. Each and every product is Redhead Friendly approved. Head to h2barbox.com to subscribe and use code PODCAST to receive 20% off. Hello? Hi, this is Stephanie and Adrian Vendetti from How to Be a Redhead. Hey, how are you guys? Hi, Dr. Culkin. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Thank you for coming on. My pleasure. Happy to do it. Great. Well, first we wanted to say we went. We both went to University of Miami. We saw you did too for medical school. Sorry to hear that, but um, no, I went to med school. Yeah. Yeah, we went undergrad, but you know. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we'll jump right in because we're really excited about today, and okay. um, we first wanted to know the big question: Can redheads get laser hair removal? Of course they can, but wow. not every redhead. Okay. Okay. So, you know, redheads, when we do laser hair removal, we're targeting the pigment melanin. It's the pigment in the hair. Now, redheads have varying amounts of melanin, like everybody. But some redheads have no regular melanin, and they have a melanin called biomelatin. Melanin, sorry. Now, that, you know, this is because of a, a chromosome issue that redheads have. They have a change on the number 16 chromosome. Mm. So, when they come for laser hair removal, we have to figure out do they have enough regular melanin that we can make a difference with the laser, or will it be a waste of money? Now, I've been doing this for 17 years. We've done over a million procedures. Wow. We never do test pulses except on redheads. Because if I do a few test pulses on a redhead, I can see how her hair responds to the laser. And we have enough experience to know that if we see good response, her chance of getting a substantial reduction is good. But if the hair just sits there and laughs at us, <laughs> it would be a waste of money, and we're not going to proceed. So they're in an interesting situation. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. So if someone has – Talk about you. Like, yeah. Uh, okay. So me speaking. Stephanie has always really wanted laser hair removal. Yeah. So this is like music to her ears, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. So if my underarm hair is – like a dark brownish, not dark brown, but more of like, you know, it's darker. And then my bikini area is red and my facial hair though is blonde. Would, what areas could I get laser? So what we would encourage you to do, if the areas that you wanted treated were your bikini and underarms, we would encourage you to come in one day. Now I'm going to make the assumption that you are not tan when you come in. No, your yeah. Your skin is very light because uh, that's really important. 
Okay. And we would do a few test pulses. And, you know, if we see good response to the laser, then we would counsel you that maybe your reduction wouldn't be as great as we want, but maybe it would make your life a little bit easier. Um, now, for your face where it's blonde, they give your money. It's not going to work. So, and you know, we know that redheads have a fair amount of light brown and blonde in hair on varying parts of their body. So it's a very individual area situation that we assess on every person. Okay. Yeah. So the best bet for someone listening is to probably call a reputable place wherever they live. If in Atlanta, then call you guys and go in for a consultation to get that test to see. Okay. Exactly. Now, you know, um, in Georgia, you're required to have a license to use a laser. But the truth of the matter is that a lot of the people who have licenses do not have a lot of experience. Mm. And so it's really important not only to find someone who's licensed, but to find someone with extensive experience using the Alexandrite laser. And the Alexandrite laser is the strongest laser used on light skin. Oh, okay. okay. So there's a certain kind of laser. So how many redheads have, do you feel like you've successfully lasered? Yeah. (laughs) Lasered, I guess. Oh, I mean, I would have to guess a couple of hundred, but I would, and remember we've done a million procedures. When we see a redhead who does not do well to test pulses, we don't want her by our services. But, but, I, I tell you, I think we've been able to please over 90% of the redheads that we suggested pursuing would be reasonable. And that's as long as their expectations are reasonable. Okay. So then if I, this is again, Stephanie speaking, if I was to get laser, if you, successfully you told me, okay, yes, I could get it on my underarm area. How many would I need? Is there a certain standard number, like eight? Yeah. For instance, uh, yes. Oh, okay. We do a series of eight. We do a oh. series of eight sessions. We space the sessions six weeks apart, and we do that for everyone. And um, you know, we will find five people a year who don't respond to the laser, and they won't be redheads. They'll have black hair, brown hair. So it's it's very interesting, but. You know, we try to be as forthright as we can with everyone so that we, you know, satisfy our patient. Okay. And then would I need to ever shave my armpits again after the eight? How does that work? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Now, look, a a lot of places will tell patients you'll never shave again. A hundred percent of your hair will be gone. And that's just simply not accurate. Wow. Um, if, if we can get an 80 or 70% reduction, sometimes 90, then the expectation is to take out a razor once a week to whisk away some slow-growing fine hairs. That is my gold standard for laser hair removal. Okay, that's great to know. And then we read on your website that the most common complication from laser hair removal is actually hyperpigmentation, which Adrian and myself did not know. And hyperpigmentation, it's the temporary darkening of the skin. And this can occur in light skin patients who have extended sun exposure resulting in tanning of the skin. So can you explain this further? Why? So it's basically like freckles? Yeah, I guess. Right? Well, hyperpigmentation, first of all, it happens, it, it would not be common in redheads. Oh, okay. Redheads are usually very fair complected. You know, um, redheads, when they go in the sun, they usually burn pretty easily. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you tan when you go in the sun? No. no. <laughs> yeah, we burn, most, yeah. Most redheads have what we call skin type one. They burn easily. They look at the sun, they burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we want those patients to come in always being as light as they can because we're going to use 
high settings in the Alexandrite laser. The Alex laser is extremely attracted to color, to pigment. And when you're tan, we get an overabsorption of energy, and that can cause hyperpigmentation, which are usually dime-sized crusted areas. We hate hyperpigmentation here, mm. but it happens, but it happens. And um, it goes away, um, usually in a few weeks, but bad hyperpig can take up to a year, year and a half to go away. Interesting. So, but it's, you know, that's very uncommon. Okay. So in, in, our, in our skin type 1 patients, hyperpig is really almost unheard of. That's good to know. I mean, for redheads listening, yeah. 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 Almost unheard of, yeah. And, you know, another good, um, good thing that for redheads is, you know, redheads usually don't get gray as they get older. So their red just changes. It fades to a different color on spectrum. But um, less gray hair later on. Yeah, you really know your redhead facts. This is very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I mean, he's the expert. I know. But, um, so how about someone, could you do gray hair? No. Again, no. no pigment to absorb heat from the laser. So gray hair, white hair, save your money. Wow. And do you see this, you being in the field, do you see that maybe the lasers are advancing over time? So maybe let's say 10 plus, 20 plus years down the road that redheads who have blonde hair or gray or white will be able to get laser? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay. I'm not really seeing significant advances in that regard. Um, everybody's tried many different things, but we've not seen anything that works differently than 15 years ago. So I actually have um, one of our last questions is redheads seem to experience pain more than most. And we have a whole other podcast about that. But sure. we wanted to know if laser is painful. Well, it's a relative question. Um, 75% of our patients do not use numbing cream on the bikini and underarms. Mm. 25% do. Some people, when they have it done, they're like, oh, that's not so bad. Other people are like, oh, my God, that's horrible. So it's a very individual thing. Um, there are topical numbing creams that we prescribe, and they work beautifully for laser hair removal. So I think in the case of a redhead, I would encourage her to come, have test pulses, see what that feels like, and if there's a decision to proceed, if they desire, we can prescribe numbing cream for them. Okay. That's really great to know. That's really I have nice. hope now that I can get it on my underarms. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Great. Well, we can usually tell easily. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Culkin, for all of your amazing advice and for being a guest on our podcast. Well, you're very welcome. And if we can help with anything, always just feel free to let us know. Oh, great. Sounds great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Bye. 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 The H2Bar box is now offering a deluxe version of the beauty box sent out four times a year in addition to the monthly box. You now have two options for enjoying the beauty subscription box for redheads. The monthly box is worth $80 plus and the deluxe quarterly box is worth $250 plus. The deluxe box will be available for sale on August 1st and the first quarterly shipment rolls out on September 15th. Each and every product is Redhead Friendly approved. Head to h2barbox.com to subscribe and use code PODCAST to receive 20% off. Like I just said, I I have hope. <laughs> <laughs> I really like him only, a lot. He's I know, so he's nice and, and just so personable. Personable and like ed really educated. You can tell that he has he really knows his stuff. I know. And I um the only thing I'm a little not upset about because I knew is my blonde on my facial hair. But that, this is going to be for a whole different podcast about ways that I combat my the blonde, the blonde hair on my face. But right now, I, I really, once a week, I religiously use this gadget we got in the mail, I don't know, months ago. Really? That takes off all of my peach fuzz. It looks really good. Oh, thanks. It looks really good. Like, I can't even tell that you have peach fuzz. Yeah. And Katie Denno, she was a guest on season one, one of our first episodes. Love her. She's a green it, the beauty. The episode was about green beauty. Yeah. She's a green beauty makeup artist. And she actually recently 
did an Instagram story or a YouTube video about this gadget that she uses off Amazon that basically takes off her facial hair. So anyway, mm-hmm. we'll save that for another episode. But um, definitely if you're in the Atlanta area, check WIFH out. Um, we'll put them in the, in the podcast notes too. So ye- you guys in Atlanta can just click and book an appointment. Yeah, I'm looking right now. They're on Peachtree Dunwoody Road. I'm not familiar with where that is. Oh, near Sandy Springs. But definitely, yeah, check it out in the notes section because we'll definitely want to, um, you know, bring you guys. I mean, it's a reputable place, especially in if you're in the Atlanta area. Um, yeah, and we're really excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited for Redheads to listen in. Um, you know, we are really excited for season two so far because we've done a lot of topics that we casually talked about in season one. And now with season two, we have some really interesting podcasts coming up. We are going to be talking about in depth with uh, experts and doctors about pain redheads with pain we're oh yeah be, get ready that's gonna be a hot episode. i know people love the fashion episode so we're probably gonna have another expert on and east salon was so great talking about fading red hair so we're really excited so want to help us spread the news about the how to be a redhead brand in this podcast please give us a five-star review and tell your friends redheads and everyone else to subscribe you can listen to this podcast directly on how to be a redhead.com on apple itunes spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts And don't forget to look at the podcast notes to find links with products mentioned and so much more. Rock like a redhead.